Okay, welcome again to uh, Basic Photoshop Tutorials, everyone. This one will be s extremely easy today. Um, we're going to keep it simple. This is a quick use. It'll be fun, uh, and it's an extremely useful, um, extremely useful uh, tool in Photoshop, and that is Photo Merge. Like I said, Donnie beat me to it, but after watching his video, it really doesn't give you the basic steps, and it's more of an entertainment thing than uh, than practicality. So here we go. So it's File automate photo merge and you want to keep it on auto it'll take all the other layouts <coughs> into perspective and uh, blend it accordingly so make sure you have files selected unless you want to take an entire folder but it's simply just keep it on files and browse and there I am and we're gonna go scroll down open your folder or wherever your files are select all your files hit OK and they'll all show up here in a nice sequence okay and then hit OK again and here we go. And now we sit back and relax and watch Photoshop do its work. So basically what it's doing here is it's taking into account each photo and blending them properly and accordingly to what your layout is that you've selected beforehand. And that is, in this case is audio or auto, sorry. So it, it takes, it might take a little while depending on what computer you have, uh, how fast your computer is or how many files you have chosen. But it's pretty straightforward. You just wait for it to do its work and there we go it's lined them up already it's ready to set it up now it's just simply creating the image for you on your screen continue to wait check my text messages here as we wait okay and there we go so there you go you got your photo in it it's sort of like a uh, a panoramic view of what you want to look at and this is the this is the it's, it's exactly what photo merge is all about it's uh, creating panoramic shots with ease so um, now you'll notice there's a bit of transparency around the object that's simple to get rid of just click on your marquee tool choose a rectangular marquee tool and if all your images are selected um, could hit control E or layer and merge layers let me see where is that I don't usually go to merge layers there it is merge layers which is control E again with your marquee tool selected rectangle just highlight the portion you don't want and we're gonna make it a square so just getting rid of some of the top portion the side portion because it does tend to round a bit of the edges for you so and that's just part of the the process just getting rid of that there and let's just get rid of that whole section there okay so now that we're left with this rectangle and uh, in our panoramic view we still have the transparency so to get rid of that you just go to image trim and make sure all of your trim aways are selected and select transparent pixels and hit OK and there you go and you're done simple as that very easy to do um, and it gives you a very nice clean um, pan view and this is this is very simple to do what you do is you take your camera set it up and just simply stand there with your camera in a fixed angle and take your pictures and then move sideways take a picture again take a picture again make sure you leave a little bit of the the previous picture in your new picture and then you just throw it into Photoshop and it does the rest for you so that's it like I said extremely easy and very useful so and thanks again for watching everybody um, Make sure you subscribe, comment, and uh, if you have any requests, um, uh, let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll put something together for you. So thanks again.